Hi everyone. The purpose of this tutorial is to help you set up an email management system. If you are currently experiencing an influx of emails that you don't need to read, but you do need to keep a record of in case you actually do need to read one of them, what we're going to do is I'm going to help you set up a filtering system to manage all of these emails. Go ahead and open up your Gmail and on the left hand side of your screen underneath where it reads inbox, you're going to go to your categories and we're going to engage where it says more and we're going to go ahead and create a new label. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to set you up with an English department label. I'm going to go ahead and create. And then again, on the left hand side, you will now see the creation of that English department label. Like anything, settings for labels live to the right of it where you can create it with a label color, um, lots of options to customize, um, always your ability to edit, all right? So now what I'm gonna have you do is we're gonna go the long way and we're gonna head over to your Gmail settings, which is in the gear. And from there, along the top part of your screen, we're gonna go ahead and select filters and blocked addresses. Here, we're gonna create a new filter. Right now, we're gonna filter any email communication that comes from Angela Wilson. So you can see that the email pre-populates for you. I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And I'm going to create a filter. Now I'm gonna customize even further. I am going to apply the label English department to any email that comes from Angela Wilson. I'm also going to apply any prior communication that I've had from Angela Wilson with the label English department. Now there's other bells and whistles that are available in this menu, um, such as skipping the inbox, though in all of my testing that has been a little inconsistent. Marking an email automatically as read as soon as it hits your inbox, um, which is a nice feature if you don't like your ticker um, to read 34,000 emails if you see um, that number. But for now, for this tutorial, I'm just going to apply a label and I'm going to filter it to prior communication. So I'm going to go ahead and create that filter. All right, so now um, in this screen, you can see that I've successfully created any email communication from A. Wilson. It will be applying the English department label. Like anything, you can always edit and make changes to what we just set up and update. You could also delete the filter if it's no longer necessary. So here we go. We're going to go back to the inbox view and I'm going to send that account an email. I'm going to go ahead and hit send and we should see that email come through fairly quickly. I, un I had to undo my undo send settings to make sure it came faster than normal. So there it is. So now you can see in the top of my inbox, the email communication is clearly labeled English department filter test. That was what I just sent this account. Again, it's the English department is green because the, the label settings, I assigned it a color, which just again, visually adds a nice level of communication. What you can do when you open that email is you can see two different labels have been applied, both the inbox label as well as the English department label. To get it out of your inbox, just click the inbox label X and keep the English department label. So if I go back over to the inbox view, that email is no longer there, but should I need to go back to it for reference, I'm gonna hit the English department label and you can see that email is there as is any other email communication that has ever been 
made between the two accounts prior to setting up the filter. I hope that this system is helpful and that you are able to manage an influx of emails with some grace and dignity. Um, thank you for watching.